I'd like to dedicate this to all of the Creator's righteous children. I have some food in my bag for you. Not that edible food, the food you eat? No. I have some food for thought. Since knowledge is infinite, it has infinitely fell on me. So, um... Peace! Welcome back to my series, Afro-Indigenous. Today we're going to be talking about a couple of different things. One of them is going to be a piece of art that I just watched on YouTube um, by Chief I Two Bears. It's called What Came Before. It's kind of just basically um, the correlation between African Americans and indigenous people of Turtle Island and how we have very many similarities and how we are all indigenous to this land and how we both are very much uh, have a connection to the drum and have a connection to dancing. And so they feature uh, fancy dancers um, and they also feature brick dancers. And it's just a really beautiful, beautiful uh, YouTube little like short uh, little piece of art. And it's beautiful and it really... Uh, helps to bring together the African-American and Native American community. And I'm here for it. That's why I created this series. And I think that's a beautiful sentiment. And I'm so here for it being African-American and indigenous. But something else that I recently um, had the displeasure of learning about, but also I kind of already knew about this. Um, But so I'm African-American and indigenous, right? And part of my indigenous culture is being uh, part Cherokee. And I've always known that the Cherokees have always had a very hostile relationship with African Americans. Number one, Cherokees were known for having African slaves back in the day. Number two, they were very, very willing and still are willing to um, let white people into their tribe based on their small percentage of indigenous heritage. And number three, they are very much reluctant to let African-Americans, black people, who can very much claim their culture and their heritage, um, sometimes, not always, because as I've said in other videos, uh, we have been sadly... Back in the day, when they were doing the census, we got put as Negro instead of being indigenous because we looked black. And even though we do have black lineage because, you know, we are most likely descended from slaves that were um, held by the Cherokees and then somehow intermingled into the tribe through marriage, sometimes rape, you know, it happens. We have more if i'm being honest lineage to being part of the cherokee tribe than the white people that they let in oftentimes and that actually is really bothersome to me because i just saw an npr article and clip where they talked about how the oklahoma cherokee the oklahoma band of the cherokees the ones that got taken from you know north carolina and virginia and all these places and were taken on the Trail of Tears to Oklahoma. These Cherokees have the nerve to not let 2,800 uh, Cherokees, black Cherokees, who are descendants from slaves, they call themselves the Freedmen's, and they are descendants of slaves who were part of the Cherokee tribe because the Cherokees had them as slaves. And so they have a lineage that goes back way back. And so they are part of the tribe. And in a lot of cases, their ancestors were cohabiting with the tribe for many, many centuries. And it isn't until recently that the Cherokees of Oklahoma and the Cherokees of North Carolina and many other bands have decided that they will not accept black people into the tribe. 
And that is a form of blatant racism. And it's just really sad because when you see other tribes trying to embrace the African-American culture and things like hip hop and things like breakdancing and other ways and forms of African-American culture, they are embracing the African-American culture into the tribes. And for a lot of that, it's doing a lot of good service. Because in these hard times that we live in in this country, we need to be more unified now than ever. And so to unify each other is just really great because a lot of African-Americans are taking a lot of indigenous knowledge and using that with their own indigenous knowledge from Africa. And it's just like a lot of really great, you know, collaboration of cultures, right? The two most oppressed cultures in this country alone collaborating and being you know in oneness is really really beautiful and as somebody who is both black and indigenous it's a beautiful thing to see but when you see these Cherokees still living by the rules of the oppressor it's very very disheartening because they're still living by blood quantum they're still they still care about what part of your DNA is this and that and how much you have in you and all of these things and because we can't oftentimes go back and trace our lineage because we don't have papers that way, it really messes up what's in your heart. Knowing that you are an indigenous person, knowing in your heart that your ancestors were indigenous, but they were also black, is a blatant form of racism and it's just wrong. And it really bothers me being indigenous, having Cherokee blood and being African-American. It's not fair. It's just a form of blatant racism and I cannot deal with it. You know what I mean? And, you know, yes, we can always, you know, say that the colonizers have always and will always be oppressing us, but we can oppress each other at the same time. You know what I mean? And what's really sad is that for centuries and centuries and centuries, since this community, since this country has been created by the colonizer, other races, other cultures have had this way of basically disvaluing, disowning blackness. And it's just really sad because there are cultures all over the world that just don't see blackness as worthy, as important, as culturally relevant. Like they just don't like blackness. And it's sad. And it's just really sad to see a culture that has been in this fight, part of colonization, part of trying to get sovereignty, part of just trying to live a good life on this land, on our land. To do that to another group that is going through the exact same thing that you're going through is really, really sad. And it really hurts. It really hurts. And it hurts me because... Being a descendant of the Cherokee people and being African-American, it's something that I've always been very prideful of. But it's hard to be prideful of a culture that doesn't and a tribe that isn't trying to embrace your other half. And I don't think that's right. I think that's wrong. And I think it's just hard to swallow when you try to have so much passion and compassion and, and joy and pride in your culture because that's just wrong that's just blatant forms of racism and i'm not here for it and so you know watching that piece of art that i just saw with the break dancing and the collaboration between african-american and indigenous people is so beautiful but it's just sad to see that there are still tribes out there who are willing to let the colonizers mindset still be stuck in their brain to the point where they're not willing to let blackness And people who have ancestors who have been a part of the tribe for the longest be a part of the tribe today. And I just find that to be super, super wrong, super racist, and just super ignorant. You know what I mean? It's super ignorant, you know? I have always been a firm believer that we need to get rid of blood quantum. I have always been a firm believer that we need to get rid of this notion that the blacker is worse. The black is bad. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of that. You know what I mean? That's why today in society, most people don't even know what an indigenous person looks like because they only know what's in the history books. And because what's in the history books, y'all look light. 
you like really look light knowing good and well that we did not look light yeah some of you did but most tribes especially the cherokees especially the ones that were in the southern regions we don't look light we look darker because we're closer to the equator and so to even try and pretend that your tribe is this light tribe who can't embrace the blackness in you is just sad it's just really really sad okay it's just really sad and it gives an informed and in an informed um image of who indigenous people are because we don't all look like that and to only be able to embrace the light-skinned and white people into the tribe to make you guys look lighter and lighter each and every time you have babies is just wrong it's just completely wrong and i'm tired of it i really am i'm tired of these tribes i'm tired of the government i'm tired of this country trying to erase blackness it's here we are here and we are here to stay we can't go anywhere else because we were brought here by you by you the colonizer over here and then some of you indigenous people thought it was cool to just basically follow the colonizer's model have us as slaves and then have us become part of the tribe and then try to deny us years later it's just really messed up and i'm just not here for it so i suggest everybody go and check out that piece of artwork that i talked about at the beginning of this and just really try to be in harmony and un unity with each other because i really feel like something really big is going to happen and i just feel like the more in unity that the black community and the indigenous community can become the better for everybody because honestly not just because i'm black and indigenous because even if i was just black i'd still want to see us become united because i feel like we have a similar fight that we're fighting every day and if the more we can become in unity the better for us the better for turtle island and just the better for humanity so yeah uh cherokees you need to get your life because that's not cool that's just not cool and i don't want to ever hear again that you're denying black people who are cherokee out of the tribe that's really really racist and really messed up um but yeah this is just my two cents on that whole thing um it just was bothering me and i just wanted to talk about it so um go check out that piece of artwork by chief i two bears um and yeah just, just don't be racist blackness is here to stay and it is what it is so don't be racist get it together cherokees and um yeah until next time peace and blessings